What's up, it's David K, AK Third Ability, and I'm back again with another styling video. This time we're doing four ways to style the Warache sandals. So why are we talking Warache sandals this time? Well, I realized that I am not the only one with an aversion to exposing my toes, even in the summer. I don't like it and I don't like seeing them. And over here, I'm all about wearing clothes that make you feel good. So these ones do it for me. They're perfect for the summer and I wanna share them with you in depth and how to style them. We briefly talked about the Warache sandals on my summer shoes video, which you can still check out. But since then, I have grown to love these even more. Everything from the design to the way that they feel on my foot. I even shared them with my man Anthony over at The Next Gentleman and he put them in his summer shoes blog. So check that out, I've got it linked below as well. Let me tell you why these are becoming one of my favorite summer shoes. I personally get self-conscious when my toes or feet are exposed out in public. And when we're trying to build our style confidence, having something that immediately kills it is not what we're looking for. So I love that these actually give me the functionality of a sandal without having my little piggies exposed for everyone to see. These, in my opinion, are the perfect option for us guys who hate the sight of feet, especially our own, but still need help with that feet heat relief in the summer. Whew, say that five times fast. Feet heat relief, feet heat relief, feet heat relief. Okay, so to give you a proper introduction to these Warache sandals and dive a little bit deeper, we're going through my four favorite ways to style these right now. Before we jump into styling the Warache sandals, I wanted to give you an idea of the history of them. Because originally when I saw these on Nisolo website, that's where this pair is from, I just liked them for the design. I wasn't thinking about the actual cultural significance or history. And I wanna be able to share that with you so we understand how these became popular and why we're putting them into our wardrobe now anyway. First, let's talk pronunciation. It is Warache sandal and it's not Hurache sandal. That's how I think I originally pronounced it in my summer shoes video and truthfully, I did not look up the correct pronunciation before I went into that. So that's my bad. Now my accent is probably still a little off but Warache is technically correct and it does refer to a low heeled sandal with a leather woven upper. The Warache sandals date back to pre-Columbian Mexico but are generally characterized by this hand woven leather upper. The construction and design of the Huarache sandal has changed over the history of Mexico's colonization, especially with the introduction of cattle and European style tanning. They've been made from various materials over their lifetime, including reused tire treads to give them a more durable rubber sole. The intricacy of the woven leather upper actually differed between different classes in society. I'm featuring this pair from Nisolo that's actually handmade in Peru. Now their CEO was in Ecuador in 2011 when he first came across the design while working and living in Peru. The cool thing is, is that they were so taken by the design that they took this back to their factory and were able to combine the traditional woven leather design with some modernizations in the sole. So they have a crepe rubber sole with a foam midsole that makes it overall more durable and more wearable for what we know it as today. The coolest part to me is that Nisolo is keeping a centuries old shoemaking industry alive in Peru and with partner factories in Mexico. They're providing consistent work and living wages to communities that need it. As far as wearing them goes, the leather is pretty comfortable. There is a little bit of a break in period to get them to actually fit like a glove or you know, at least a foot glove, a sock, at least to get them to feel very comfortable, there is a little bit of a break in period. For sizing, I would recommend a size down, go true to size because you are gonna be wearing these barefoot, which means you don't want them to be too big because they will slip off your foot. Okay, so we got through a little bit of the brief history. Now we can get into styling. And for the first way to style, I know it's the option that we usually talk about, but it's really as simple as swapping them in for your normal summer shoe or sandal. They're gonna look great with a tee, a short sleeve shirt, a polo, then comboed with short or denim, and really any of the options that we've talked about in our previous summer style videos. The great thing about these is that Nisolo has them in two neutral brown tones, which are gonna go great with any color of shorts and denim or top, which makes them a pretty versatile summer shoe to wear. For the second way to style, let's talk about chino pants or even a lighter material like linen. 
Now, normally I would not recommend pairing sandals and pants because we usually don't get a break on the foot and it results in this overall sloppy, unkept visual, which is something that we want to avoid. I am allowing pants here because these are a closed toed version, so they're a little bit more refined than a standard flip flop or slide or you know any sort of normal sandal that we would think of. Now the key to avoid looking really sloppy is to cuff those pants and that goes for denim too. We want a clean break on the pants so that we don't get that sloppy effect. Regardless of how you choose to wear them in those first two ways to style, they're gonna add a nice bold twist to your summer outfit. The third way we're styling the Warache sandals is what I'm calling a summer refined casual look. It's gonna be a twist on some summer suiting. I opted for linen pants that are a little bit wider, so not quite that slim structured suit look, and an unstructured jacket with just a tee. So I'm getting that sort of cool European effortless style that I think the Warache sandals really complement in this case. This is gonna be perfect for one of those cool casual summer nights. That brings me to the fourth way to style these Warache sandals, and I say pair them with an actual summer suit. I love the casual bold elegance that summer fabrics like seersucker and linen give to a suit this season, and I think that can be punctuated with the Warache sandals. All right, so that's how I'm styling the Warache sandals this summer, and I hope that you not only got four options for styling them, but also understood a little bit about their history. What I'm learning now is that it's important to know where some of these products that we're consuming are actually coming from and if they have a cultural significance to something else. It's always a good idea to research what you're buying first before you actually make the purchase. I have links to some of the sources I used as well as what Nisolo is doing to help support the communities that their factories are in and links to the Warache sandals from them as well down below. Make sure to check those out. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button so that we can stay connected and I can keep making making videos that you enjoy watching. If you're picking up a pair of these Nisolo Warache sandals, I wanna know how you're styling them, so make sure you tag me on Instagram, I'm at Threadability on all platforms. I wanna see you there. Have a good one.